time and time and time. No. Like tearing up your heart. <laughs> they wrote that shit for me. <laughs> I met Justin jacket? when I was like 13. Um, I went to them and he wrote that song for me. So For real? No. You fuck with NSYNC more than Backstreet Boys? Fuck yeah. All really? day. Like, what about you? Fuck a Backstreet Boy. I don't care about yeah. this topic. <laughs> Damn, she hit me with the pass already. Miami on the rocks, pass. Casey. Miami on the rocks, Casey Chops. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at MIA on the rocks. Follow us on YouTube, Miami on the rocks. Today's guest got two lovely ladies here. I got Taryn, designer from Jewels by Dunn. Owner you're, you're too. Owner. Oh, talk your shit. We got no name stays. She wanted to remain anonymous. No name stays. What she, up? She came in here. <laughs> and then, yo. Right. Cheers. Yo, yo. I was like, yo, I don't know. Walking in. Yeah, like our, our viewers might go down. Like, yeah. Put it straight. So, yo, um, shout out to Mel. Mel put me, I, I hit up Mel and I was like, yo, Mel, I'm looking for some dope women in Miami. Um, You know, women that have careers, women that actually do things, you know. And she's like, yo, you know, let me hit up my girl Taryn. She does, she's a designer. She focuses on. She's a creative. Like ooh, creative director. Ooh, what about curator? That's one of the curator, words. Curator, um, innovator, <laughs> one of my favorite people in the entire world. And the same way she told you is how I heard it for me. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. she says your name and she says she fucks with you. Yeah. I fuck with you. Dope. And so what she told me is she's like, you do the jewelry yes. for... <sighs> Bad Bunny, Raul Alejandro. Um, My favorite. Uh, na name a couple more, if you don't mind. Um, so currently, and this all happened through COVID, because I was very lucky to kind of like beg our department to bring me on uh, Bad Bunny's Playboy shoot mm -hmm. cover, which you don't wear that much in Playboy. He mm -hmm. has an amazing stylist, but... Mm -hmm. I set up a jewelry table when I really shouldn't have, and it started from there. Mm -hmm. And it came out in July, so I went a couple months like dead, not doing what I usually do. Mm -hmm. And since then, I have been lucky enough to work with him many times. Mm -hmm. um, Lunai's stylist right now, I do fun projects for him. I work a lot with Rao, I would say, is my number one. He... So is the coolest, kindest, and the most, his stylist is enviable and teaches me a lot and mm -hmm. came from Elle Magazine and cares. And mm -hmm. this kid's willing to take risks and it's paying off. I've been up on him like for like five years, four or five years. Like yeah. he's been dope. Like I've always said, he's like the Chris Brown of like the Latin he, game right now. Oh, he is. And he even has like house records on his on his album. Mm -hmm. I mean, the funny part about all of this is I don't speak Spanish. Yeah, I speak jewelry. Yeah, um, talk your shit. That's yeah, that's like quote that. that yeah, that's boy. quotable. No, but it is. It's like you, the Spanish. language of love. Jewelry. They say like you, you, you. Yeah, it is what it is, and they get me, and I get them. Right. S Damn, that's dope. Mariah Angelique is another one that it for me is gonna be. A uh, superstar. She's young. I've known her for a long time, but mm -hmm. she's bad and mm -hmm. she's beautiful. And I think she's new. Nazi Natasha all the time. Yeah, Nazi Natasha's dope too. No, and uh, fine. She's fine. You she's definitely fine. fine. Is she tiny though? She's yeah, super tiny. She's my height. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's short. But you know what? I will say this. She's dating the boss who is. You know, Rafi Pina. Who's that? He found out a Yankee. Oh, and okay, Nicky okay. Gam, talking and, about. You know, at this point, I think she deserves the respect to be treated the way that she wants mm -hmm. to be treated. Mm -hmm. You know, so working with her is teaching me a lot. It has taught me a lot. That's dope. So do you, you stick with the jewelry. You're like a jewelry I stylist. I custom make kind. jewelry on set. Yeah. On set. That was actually the perfect verbiage. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate that, but I'm really working with the stylist and they are now using me as a genre because they're only getting jewelry from big designers or else that's or, not or actual to jewelers, about. right? Or like, no, you know what I mean? it's very difficult. I can, I can get jewelry from real jewelers because mm -hmm. my mom is a South African gemologist mm -hmm. who managed Cartier for many years on mm -hmm. the Eastern side of the United States, but that's a different story it's right. 
the fact that I can be there or get called the day before to, with mm -hmm. just an outfit and create a look for an artist that makes them an individual. So, so you see someone's outfit that the stylist puts together for the artist and then you kind of like drape them with the jewelry that's going to match the style of the... They're hiring me lately because I work with the same people so much to kind of help develop these artists, not style, but like who they want to be and what they want to be seen as. And jewelry is a big factor in it. Mm -hmm. Especially with men right now, because mm -hmm. all the dudes are wearing the Miami Cuban link pave chain, mm -hmm. and then another thick chain and mm -hmm. gold, and it's one of those things where you don't know who they are. These reggae toners are recognized all over the world, and they also have a very big avenue in the fashion world if they were if they took it seriously. So I really work the hardest for the ones that. Fuck with me like I fuck with them. And Rao is, for me, mm -hmm. the most unique. And I think he is going to go far because he takes the risks and he wants to be different. And he is. Mm -hmm. And they're, and people are seeing it. And not because of my jewelry, but because of the mixture of the people that he's chosen. Yeah. And his talent alone. Yeah. That's you fire. Know? Yeah, he's fire. And you, how long have you known Stacy? Since kindergarten, say oh, how to stay. No, Stacy, how are you? You good? I'm fantastic. Yo, she's like I'm just <laughs> muted, listening yeah, to Taryn yeah, rap. Yeah, yeah, okay. That well, shit. How long have you been in the jewelry game? Like, what made you get ten into it? Ten years ago. Ten years. Well, ago. ten years ago, I started my company. Yeah. It feels like it was like twenty. I'm fourth Damn. generation. Um. But yeah, I was 24. I'm 35 now. Did you know? So you've known her for that long. Did you know that she was into jewelry? Like, was it like a thing all yeah, the time? Yeah, I saw the whole thing develop. I saw her start from the beginning. Oh, she also she was grew like up with me and my mom. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Day so, one. So how does it start, though? Like, how do you get into that? You're like, I want to... But your mom, you said, is in the game, Okay, right? yeah. Weird story. Um, I went to college at the University of Arizona. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I'll and edit. came back. Mm-hmm. And when I came back to Miami, I had never really worked. And I, in mm -hmm. college, like I took art classes and speech classes and a lot of marketing classes, but I really didn't learn that much. Mm -hmm. I started getting, you know, manager jobs at shoe stores and oh working for God. real estate agents <laughs> and, you know, doing things that you weren't passionate about. That I really just didn't know how to do because yeah. my brain works in a very different way. And mm -hmm. I got fired. I worked one year at Nine West. God bless you. You kept me for a year. I don't know how, but <laughs> then it was two very quick firings. And in the last firing, the guy said to me, it was actually from my brother-in-law. God bless him. Um, his friend called me and he's like, look, I'm going to pay. I worked a month. He said, I'm going to pay you for a month, but mm -hmm. you should be doing something artistic. Yeah. And I start bawling. I'm mm -hmm. like, you think I'm stupid. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like he's like, no, you just don't belong sitting behind a desk. Yeah. And the long story short is a couple of weeks later, I still need my blowout. Now I embrace the curls, but I was a brunette then and hair had to be straight. And I'm in a salon next to the old electric pickle mm -hmm. so like Winwood was just coming up and it was this weird spot and this dude walks in with clear eyes and a trench coat steve my man i love you and uh, <laughs> like did like a beeline and told me he had to talk to me and i told him i had no money i don't want to know when i'm gonna die like he looked different you know mm -hmm. wait what is he like a psychic he's you a shaman yeah. he's oh. a shaman and he told me enter shaman. all he yeah. said well, that's why i'm jules by done so he tells me you're about to start a huge company take the next opportunity and i'm looking at this guy like bruh i just got fired from three fucking jobs yeah thank you all i can do is start my company you know yeah. My sister was pregnant in Colorado and learns how to macrame. So you remember those Shambhala bracelets that oh all the rappers yeah. wore? I kind of became the baddest macrame in the game and had like 
Bieber wearing my stuff back then. But this guy said, you have to name your company with the letter D and just, you know, run with it. So I started with a hundred bucks that turns into 800. I couldn't think of a name. I called my sister. My sister taught me how to macrame. And I said, what's macrame? Macrame is the Shambhala style, how they wrap those beads. So there's a string in the middle and they tie it around. Like, remember those necklaces that it was like circle, circle, circle. circle it was like, the, you know, around they were it, diamond, yeah. like a hemp diamond kind of look. Yeah. I'll okay. Show you. okay. You don't remember everyone remember? was wearing And like them? everyone used to have the Red bracelets with like. Balls. Hold on. I'm going to Google it right now. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Google Shambhala again. bracelet. You're going to like. Shambhala bracelet. S-H-A-M-B-A-L-L-A. S-H-A-M-B-A-L-L-A. You for sure had one. They they made really dope ones, however, they did not corner. Oh my god, yeah, like yeah. three of them. In Colombia, in Colombia, I bought like three of these. Right. So there was a big company selling them at 150 grand a piece. And I was with like, like actual diamonds in it and shit? Indian diamonds. Like I was yeah. not worth shit. And they're like not worth anything, sadly. Yeah. Um, but more than anything, it was what I was able to do. I started using the outer string and Jewels by Dunn in a year and a half ended up on, or two and a half years altogether, like crazy my, from the start. National covers, probably every magazine. But the Shambhala bracelets. Yeah. That's with, what you And were then known stretch for. bracelets. Yes, I was known as a beater. And Sofia Vergara, it was Sofia Vergara and Jessica Alba, Selena Gomez and Bieber that like kind of made my career because they were... Besides Bieber, Bieber, I got like he wore it on Ellen and it was a wrap. But like, Ooh, wow. Sophia was like 35 different, like, I have many moments that I've never even used. And Jessica, so what is it about? Um, uh, what is it about what you like the, the, the jewelry that you make? Is it what you use to make the jewelry or is it like the, the technique of how you do it? Like, and how did you learn that? Okay. I, I'm fully self-taught. My sister taught me how to macrame and then mm -hmm. everything. And now I'm a chain maker. I make like the dopest chains fire in the game. Not, I mean, I don't sit there and weld metal, but what I do with the chains, I mix links. I customize what makes me special is I'm an actual designer and I care about what I do. And most of my things are one-offs. And when I look at you, I make something for you. Got you. I mean, the stuff that I make that I have on hands when I do like, you know, a, a business to consumer event is things that there's something for everyone, but it's still different. Right. So basically you, you posted, um, who was the first celebrity you said you worked with? Ever? Yeah. Maya. <laughs> wild, wild, random. Uh, so Maya's the Leon first one. Leon Frager. Love you too. Uh, Maya was the first one. And then what was the first like pop where it like brought you more attention? Um, when I really felt like, holy shit, that shaman was right. And your dope was Bieber. So that was the first one. And then that no, like Sophia came before. And of course it was amazing. But when Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez were matching bracelets that you have made them mm -hmm. and saying you the photo, it, it made me realize that I'm different. And wow, this is not something that just happens yeah. with jewelry that retails at $88. But I'm saying like, Back you, yeah. So people, people say, yo, I want to start a jewelry business, but how do you market it? What do you do different to get it out there? Like how I do hired you a publicist? Oh, right. Okay. I mean, how do I know Bieber and Slinger? that's what I was going to ask you. Yeah, how, yeah, how does that happen? So that $800 from the first store, I did a lot of money my first year. And I said, Okay, but how can I make more money? And this is before Instagram, really. This is when, like, I'm a wholesaler selling to 120 stores, some mm -hmm. out of the country, internationally. So, you know, the game did flip on me, and that's why today I'm in a very different space. But, you know, it was just how I leveraged myself with this woman. I, I gave her a list of who I wanted to wear my stuff, and she was mm -hmm. amazing. And when I would send it, most of the time they wore it. I never got J-Lo. That's crazy. So you would basically send like a care package. Now I would send to their stylist or they would do polls for me for, 
you know, uh, certain sections of the magazine. And I really love my, like, when a celebrity wears your bracelet in the American media mm-hmm. three times or more, you get submitted into a category called I Really Love My A Few Magazines Do It. But I landed up on the homepage of people.com, which is I remember that. the Damn. most trafficked that website on the in America. That was yeah. Sophia, right? On the homepage, no, with Jessica Alba. Oh, yeah. And I also got into like the style watch section with i really love mine and i was featured in that magazine uh, i don't know how many times because people are so transfixed on celebrities so back then what i would do is i would sell their looks you know what i mean and make hundreds and hundreds of these bracelets and i was happy to because they were affordable but where i am today is very different and Mm. i don't like go off and sell what the celebrity has worn because I've custom made it for them. Got you. So you custom make everything for, for your clients. I mean, the look, yes. Right. Yes. Damn, so how do you, you know... I look at them. Really? And then mm-hmm. you decide silver, gold, what type of thing? Like, what do you... like? What, what goes into that decision? As long as you tell me what metal you want to work with. You, I mean, the stylists are the biggest part because... They know what the artists are going to wear and they know how far they're willing to let their artists go jewelry wise and what, mm-hmm. you know, their label has told them. However, I'm lucky enough to work with, you know, Jordan and who's Luna I Storm with Bad Bunny. And then I have Mel who brings me in with like an Audrey Nix. And, mm-hmm. you know, I got lucky, very lucky with Bad Bunny. Storm is probably the coolest. Rao is Darius Baptiste, someone that I have grown to mm-hmm. idolize. Yeah. So when you do that and they trust you with it, it becomes this cool marriage. And yeah. that's why they're all repeat offenders. Because every time it's something different and I like if if I care about you and I think you have the same respect for me, I go hard. Yeah. So, it's very easy. So how do you, you know, what do you, what, what's your dopest piece, would you say? The one that <sighs> resonates with you the most. Oh my gosh. So you the, put, my dopest piece, the one that resonates with me the most is hands down the Bieber piece because of how I marketed it and limited it. But I would say that my, like, the thing that makes me the most special these days are the lariats that I make. Are the what? Lariats. So I'm not wearing one because it's like really not the vibe right now. Mm -hmm. However, I'm about to bring it back. I just ordered materials. Um, So it's when it's like a rosary, Mm -hmm. but I don't do religion. Right. Got you. Okay. And I tear it up. Wow. Yeah. Damn, that's fire. So what did you do? So what did you do for the Bieber one? Like, Purple was his favorite color. Mm-hmm. Um, so I did purple, like, and hematite. Ba- the he- hematite was the base. <laughs> Yo, was you're very speaking dark. Like Japanese to me right now uh, with these words. Like purple diamond looking balls gotcha. and pyrite, which is one of my favorite stones. That's and, what she said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Purple diamond looking balls. Yeah, I mean, that sounds lit. My dream that Prince it's had hard them. to like describe. Prince definitely jewelry. had purple diamond looking balls, in my opinion. <laughs> That would be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. That's a different story. We'll talk about that one. I think of like ball jewelry now and shit. Pause. Crazy. Yeah. I, Again. You would, you would laugh at the request. Pause. Ball, what? Ball jewelry has been one of them, but Shut I've up. had some interesting People have requested that? Tesco bracelets or tesco No, more <laughs> like the actual middle part. Ew. Jewelry. Yeah, I know. I don't want to talk about that. Um, okay. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, yeah that, people wild. are fucking weird. We know that. Yeah. Damn, so the so the Bieber one, you do purple, and, and it, it's a bracelet? Yeah, and it's unisex. It's macrame. So it's that style, mm-hmm. and purple girls love, and guess what? All girls love Bieber, you know what yeah. I mean? And yeah, hell yeah. Maybe like 10 boys, mm-hmm. but <laughs> I made a 1,000. I capped it at that, and they sold out in, I think, an hour. You made a 1,000 of them? Yeah, and I was hand making everything. I was by gonna myself. say. So, how many do you make a day if you're trying to make a thousand? Back then, you were able to like ship in two weeks. You know what I mean? So daily, I was able to make forty to forty-five. Wow, that's crazy. But 
<laughs> the redundance is what kind of like drove me crazy. And I wasn't trusting enough to bring on a staff back then because mm -hmm. people are already copying me where now I'm like, oh, you're starting a jewelry business here. Let me help you. Let me tell you what not to do. Like, I don't think yeah. anyone has anything on me. So now you, you, you're hiring a staff. Or you have people that if help you, or are you still making a thousand of them? I don't need a staff because I work with a staff. You understand? Like if that makes any form. sense. Like for my jewelry, it's the pieces that I'm making. Like I'm not trying to sell a hundred of what Bad Bunny wore yesterday. That, Got you. So, so that was a unique situation where you had to make a thousand. Oh, that was 10, 10 years ago. I started with American Media. Now yeah. I only do. The ones that I named, the six yeah, that the I Latin. named. Yeah. That's fine. Basically, I'm changing. We can say this, that the requests are coming in for other artists to wear a lot more jewelry because of how Rao has expressed himself through it. And he's, wow. you know, he's being interviewed and not to say for the jewelry, just for everything by American GQ and speaking English. So he's breaking into markets wow, that bro, breaking into the general market in the United States, which is the goal. Yeah. I mean, shit, bad bunny. What's the stat? Bad bunny's new album. I did his Corona commercial. Talk your shit. Bad, yeah. bad bunny's new album hit. Number one it was the first time in billboard, billboard history, history that a Spanish album Absolutely. hit number one on the American charts. For some reason, I understand. And Disney just, Disney just came out with a, a, a preview of some movie and it has Cumbia in it. And yeah. he's also going to be on Narcos. Oh, when does that drop? The new Narcos? I've been the Narcos wondering. Mexico, probably in like a month, a month and a half, two months. Probably after the holidays. That's fine. It'll be the January show. So someone like someone like Raul, who's like very, like you said, he's he's um, risky with it. Like he's down to push the limits. Mm -hmm. What do you do jewelry wise when someone says they want to push the limits? I uh, mix links. I see how many pieces they're willing to wear. Rao has a lot of piercings in his ears, so I don't dictate that at all. However, he has his own innate style where he'll put four different earrings in, mm -hmm. and that's how he rolls. So he has a natural gift to him, mm -hmm. and ring-wise, he'll wear, you know, he wears four diamond rings that he loves, but he'll throw in, like, a pearl spike, pave ring that he got from me and a gold signet he is always wearing lately something of mine and i feel like it's kind of like you know one How of those did, things damn see i need I'm, I'm about to holla at mel too as far as like the style that she put i i feel like i need to um she's the best my style is very like chill i think so you're I, I need, but what what would you what would you say to someone like me who's just like an in shape caucasian guy but like you can't put oh, like what? what was the first one? i know exactly just an what i do caucasian guy like what would you do like i feel like you can't drape like you know what i mean like i wouldn't drape you but i would make you look doper really Very what would you do easy. you have nice hands um i'd probably People give you a pinky me. ring i'd probably do something for a, a pinky pink? Pinky. Oh, pinky, pinky, a pinky. No, I'm ring. not throwing pink on you. I would actually convert you to silver. I feel, like, I feel like when I'm this white though, you can't. Gold doesn't look good on white. Uh, yeah, I, I said I would convert you to silver. Okay. That would be my first move, and you know, a long chain that's fucking dope and simple, and then yeah. Would the, would the rosary joint work on me? What is it called? The lariat. Yeah. yeah, and then but you would have to do three if you wanted to like. Damn. See, if I gotta People ease racks. into it. Huh? Racks. Uh, like that? Like real? Because the jewelry, I mean, forgive me, but like, I'm, I'm assuming that the jewelry like that you're using is not that expensive, is it? No way. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's sourced really well and it's really good quality, but I'm not playing around with gold. Why yeah. would I do that? Yeah. I If they want it real, of course, all day. Yeah. It's an easy game, but it. It's not about that lately, and it's that's what I do. I I make it like see that's fuck what, your label. See, you know what I mean? Yeah, like that's what's dope about like the 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 Latin market. That like, is. They're, they're they're not putting on regular shit. Like they're down to like be like weird with it. You know what well, I mean? Well, you know it, why? Tell me. Because they're all choosing the ones that you think of like that are ones probably a that I've worked with and b that have the best stylists that have been sourced by their 
labels and they're not messing around like so, you, they so, have to stand out so are we giving the artists themselves too much credit for their no. look no is a lot of it their look it's like, a it's if the stylist is doing their job right yes they're enhancing the way that they want to mm. be seen just like what i do with the jewelry that right. is the game that is what it is you know gotcha. what i mean yeah. and it's fun because they feel good about themselves and they feel different. So, so how would you how would you style a female then? Someone like Nati, like they they sent so in our business, in this music business, there's something called a treatment. It's a lookbook in other industries, but it's called a treatment. So we are aware of the theme of the video, the outfit she's gonna wear, hopefully. Mm-hmm. And this goes with men as well. Um, and the vibe they want to create. Mm-hmm. And usually when, if I'm receiving a treatment, the jewelry is kind of being left up to me to add that part into all of these, you know, equations. It's also, you have an art department building a set. Like mm-hmm. art department is, that's how I started mm-hmm. is with, Fly by Productions because they gave me a little chance and yeah. I blinged out a phone what? for a Playboy and then I was like, by the way, can I come? Like, didn't ask for a lot of money and in turn, just you know, I I had been in the game for so long and I really felt like I negotiated my credit with the baddest bitch at Playboy, Erica. I love you, the casting director, mm-hmm. and we created magic and Storm is a stylist that isn't selfish. He wanted Mm -hmm. his artist to do what he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And he just fucked with a lot of the jewelry and it was amazing. That's dope. So what what was it like Bad Bunny's Playboy shoot? Not only it was the most serious shoot I've been on. He's serious. Like what? Like just serious, like no phones. Oh shit. Okay. Like you bring out your phone, they're going to check your phone. Oh shit. Yeah. We can't have Bad Bunny nudes leaking and shit. Well, he wasn't nude at all, but you know what I mean? Like, no one can know he's doing Playboy. Got you. And no one knows that COVID's coming either. So, like, they had to hold these things. And behind this... Look, some people have to take pictures of the monitor. Hair, makeup. They have to Mm. see what he's going to look like. So then when the artist comes back to them and they, they see it from... Not just, like, the monitor, but from what his cell phone would look like taking a photo. So, those people were there, but... You know, I set up a jewelry table in the middle where he had to walk out past me mm-hmm. and he just beelined me over the earring that he was wearing because I didn't bring two. And I said, you only wear one of these, you know, what do you mean he beelined you. He saw my jewelry table and his, his stylist had told him like the jewelry girl that gave this to us because he wanted the other earring mm. and I didn't have it, <laughs> mm. but I also wouldn't have put it on him because right. For me, the look was one huge coin Versace style earring. Two is like, nah. Yeah, And yeah, so yeah. he's like, what do you mean? Oh, I'm like, look, I'll do an asymmetrical, you know, little hoop on you with a coin, but I'm not putting two of them on you. And he told me, he's like, I'll edit it in. I said, I bet you, you won't. You know what I mean? Of course they didn't because. Oh, so he wasn't with like your advice. Yes, like, he was though. Oh. So then he looks down and looks at my table And I've gotten him signets in red and blue, Puerto Rico's colors, but Mm -hmm. not like cheesy. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Specific chains. um, One that he literally wore everywhere and all the time, which was interesting. Mm -hmm. Through, they made it to like Vogue Mexico, the stuff. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like Rolling Stone, Spotify, like. He hooked it up because I did his album letters for him custom. And I think he knew that. What, the, yo, hago, yo hago lo que me da la gana. Don't make me say it, bro. Yo hago lo que me da la, yo hago lo que me da la gana. Yo. Yo hago. Yo hago lo que me da la gana. This is so bad la for gana. me. You know I love you, bro. Okay. But we don't speak Spanish. You know what I'm saying? YHL. I always call it the YHL album. Okay. And it's. <laughs> I'm happy to see him number one because he's different. He's the he is absolutely. He topped the streams in American. Like I said, like he's got eight point three billion. He he topped Drake. No, he topped Drake. And guess what we last secret? This is a secret, but guess what we listened to the whole day? Drake. The entire day, 
That's the oh. only shoot I have ever been on where I understand the lyrics of the songs playing. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. That's so he, he's hero. a big Drake guy. Yeah, they made a song together. Yeah, they made. Did they make two? I, I mean, uh, that one went not, crazy. Yeah. Did you do Joey for that one? The, no, the Mia? I didn't know who he was back then. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, sure. I'm learning. I'm learning. Yeah. You know, but I really do like the music and I like the culture. Do and you, I think it's, I ask women this all the time, hmm. um, and everybody's split about it. It seems, but do you think that Bad Bunny style is? How do you feel about it as like a, a woman? Obsessed. Like like no, his obsessed. Yeah, <laughs> but see, you got you guys are like you know my age, right? Maybe a little older, I'm and 30. and it, it seems like the 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 younger girls are cool with the over femininity in men you know he what i'm saying like that, that, that does, doesn't bother you guys no he only does that when he's trying to make a point he's one of the smartest men i mean he definitely in, seems open yeah but he's doing that because like he's, he's like i can neutral. dress like a girl yeah. you know, he no care. i can dress like a girl and i can stick up but for you trans, think his sexuality right? matches that no for sure yeah he's <laughs> no definitely, you've ne if you've never been in front high. of him Absolutely not. I sat with his girlfriend the whole day. That man. You can be by right, What yeah. she girlfriend. says is, I don't know where I'm going to be in 20 years. So how can I hate someone you think Prince feeling was by? that way? Mm, I, see, it's a good question. You know, because no. look how feminine Prince's no, whole MO exactly. was. He did the same shit. Right. You don't think Prince was by? No. Really? That's Dude, crazy. why wouldn't that have leaked yet? I used but to like, what do you mean leaked? Like, I someone would have came out. We used to bang. Well, like, a, like a fucking Prince sucking dick, like a video leaks. Like, what did no this more so like much. after he died? Yeah, I had a relationship with him for twenty years. No, they Please, would take that dude, shit to the ground. He's not gay. What he's saying is, <laughs> I didn't say he was gay. Cares. She said he was open. He's. He's open because he says, I don't know how I'm going to feel tomorrow. I love him. Ten he years. He paints his nails. He That's years. what I'm saying. He, he's, he's, he's You know who else paints the nails? Machine Gun Kelly, who's dating. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, yeah. And, and, yeah, let's not front like rock stars haven't been painting their nails forever, you know? Family, so, absolutely. But I feel like it sucks. I feel like sitting in the social media era, everyone's trying to like cut through and stand out that you have to like do something super crazy to, to stand out above all the noise, you know? Like you got to do shit like test your masculinity a little like huh? you got to do things like that and make people talk yes. you know what i mean yes. but at the end of the day you know i mean i guess that's courage you know someone like me couldn't do it right you know like right and it makes him to me like the most manly man that yo by is. the way random my boy is a, is a music video director and he calls me up today and he goes yo chops he's like yo uh this new gun playing Rick Ross video, they need a white guy to get tortured tomorrow. Are you down? Ah. I'm like, yo, I'm down. I'm down, run it. So you know, tortured I'm getting a torture Speaking tomorrow and a Rick Ross music video tomorrow. That's you should, that amazing. should be like an immortalized. By the way, I should drill forever. you out to get beat up. Yeah, that'd be hard. And, right? and I want to just be able they to say like one chain. ill line, like you're never gonna get away with this. Like on my Matthew McConaughey shit, you know, like they're gonna have me tied up in a chair. Whoa. So, wow. Matthew McConaughey. You'll never get away with this. Yeah, but you should be blinged out. That'll make it even better. Can like, you torture blinged out with no shirt on? They're, they're putting fake blood on. No shirt on. No shirt on. Or like a ripped up tank top with like yeah, fake blood and shit. Yeah, you should definitely have jewelry. But the, I'm busy tomorrow. <laughs> Anyway, it's all good. More than anything. you see this right here. This shit's been holding me down for years. Yo, it does look good on you. I'm just saying. End of the day, fashion wise, you want to step out, step new. I got you in silver. Uh, see, would you like do too much to me, or just keep me no. simple? Keep me simple, right? I would do whatever makes you feel good. Cool. Okay, I'm cool with that. But I, I would, I would try and like make you step out of your comfort zone. That's what bit. I need to do. I need a stylist. I'm about to talk to a stylist and like try to see, you know, like whether I got to get some. I don't know, cause I, I wear black. I just, wear, I'm like Nikki Jam. Like I just wear black everywhere. I just watch. Did you watch that docu series? The El Ganador. Yeah. You you put on the subtitles. They were on. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> they're right. in it. Yeah, because oh, yeah, yeah. he talks in English when he gets interviewed. That's true. So. But he only wears black. You Mel, know that, right? Mel, Mel, our girl. Um, we did a photo shoot with his wife. Now with her, the tennis player, the American girl, the blonde girl. She was she's a, a runner. Player? Runner. She's a runner. Oh, she's a runner. Yeah, and she's fire. She's a model. Yeah. Yeah, he got himself a white girl. Good for he him. Was, yeah, hell yeah. He switched it up. He was um. 
He's stunted on it the whole game. It kind of makes sense though, because he's like yeah, he's super been through it. Latino. Yeah, like, but he's been had. He got no. married like three times. Yeah. He had like in all oh, his he chicks. Did? All his chicks were like Puerto Rican and Colombian, and Colombian, yeah, and they were Colombian. bad. And then he just like switched evil. it up to the white girl, like to like the nicest one. Yeah. I wasn't on set, but like I got Facetimes. Hi, like just like a lovely, you could tell, good person who happens to be drop dead gorgeous. Yeah, you know what I mean, and like yeah. not right off that. And anyone Mel works with, at the of, like at that end of the day, is usually someone that. I would absolutely work. You with straight? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. What happened? Her? I was no, yawning. How's your I quarantine been? Has it? Have you? How? How's your mental? How's your physical? Best. I mean, so I shoot in February, and Playboy comes out in July. It happens to be the number one issue ever selling, and he's the wow. only dude on the cover by himself besides Hugh Hefner. So I've done this legendary issue. Holy shit. That's and I have been in quarantine and I'm sick as fuck of it. Yeah. And then my emails start to go off and I have been busy since. Have you, so, been, have you been traveling? Absolutely not. Miami's the Mecca. She has. She's you've, done, been, you've been traveling? I've been all over the You've place. been flown out? Everywhere. How, many, no. how many blue checks in your Hell deal have flown you out? Oh she my shit. Out. I flew myself out. Oh, talk no, your shit. You said, of course. What was your company again? What is the name of it? Visionary Capital. What do you do? You, you, you look like you're good with numbers. I am real estate investments. Real estate investment? Mm-hmm. That's fire. Mm-hmm. Um, but I got my my crib on the market right now. Hmm. That's I'm true. trying to yeah. I feel like it's gonna crash next year, so I'm trying to sell it now so I could get something next year. When I it actually crashes. think you're about to make mad money if you have a crib. Yeah, you gotta you know. You know if it's a house. You stay. You're from here. You were born and raised here. No, I'm from New York, but I was I'm a Miami girl for sure. Okay, dope. Yeah, plug yeah, your yeah. plug your social media. Tell everybody where they can follow you. Um, you can follow me at Jules by Dunn. J E W E L S B Y D U N N. The shaman said that you needed to have a name with a D in it. Why Dunn? Like what? Because I was trying to look up like lucky words that start with the letter D, and then like in other languages. And I call my sister, and I'm like, I'm fucking done. I I can't figure it out. And she's like, Jules by Dunn. Everything can be done with love or you could be done with love and i'm like okay dolly that's kind of catchy that's fire i just said dolly on. i know look at you yo in the latin market now you learned any other new words oh mad words i'm a, i could put you on i'm white but i speak spanish so i could recto wait my tongue's not doing it right now. you say rectal no like when you i speak I uber yeah. i speak uber so there's esquerda the what wow esquerda Esquerda. Recto. Is straight. Right. And derecha is right. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's whack because Tranquilo. derecha. Derecha. I've learned, I've learned, put, I've learned all the words. Yeah. Oh, you Why do you speak Spanish? Uh, do you want the deep answer to that or the easy answer to that? Easy. I mean, I, 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 I lived um, I lived in Colombia for like three months. Fire. Really? And yeah. And then, well, the first time I went to Colombia five years ago, I fell in love with it. I was with my boys and I was with beautiful women and I couldn't sp- yeah. and I couldn't speak to anybody and I'm like an extrovert I crack jokes and shit so that shit was killing me I couldn't talk to anybody right I came over here I quit the radio I quit power 96 uh. and then I moved to Medellin and took Spanish classes Ooh. then I would watch shit like narcos and shit like that all in Spanish right and I got upset and then I I'm I wanted d- to watch the heist in Spanish That's you start fire. learning no you start like for me because I let them talk to me in Spanish, and then I'll be like, "All right, you know, like someone <laughs> told me what they said." It's more being around the music and liking the music, and then reading the lyrics, and then mm-hmm. singing the song, and then you hear people like, "I'm definitely able. I'm getting better." Well, music is the best thing you could use to learn another language. That's what they say. Oh yeah, and, and everything Michael I've done. Michael Jackson's like a of, great example. Of that. Facts. Out of all the content I put out, me speaking Spanish gets the most. Like I have a video with ten million views of me just speaking Spanish. No way. Yeah, I have a video of like fifty thousand views of me dancing bachata. Like I'm Ooh. just like yeah. I figured that. Look, I, this is what I figured. White boy can dance. I figured that like five years ago. I figured that. I, you can't just be a, a regular white guy in entertainment anymore. In my, in my, I don't in, think so. I don't in, think you can. In, in my opinion, like, and I'm from Miami, so like, I'm not a, my ambiance, like, my environment is not 
a lot there's not a lot of white people in there's Miami. There's no white people. Right. <laughs> where in Miami? Right. So, like look what we're doing. Exactly. So basically I knew that I had to like have something about me if I wanted to like excel. You, 100%. You, and I and I'm not the person to like tat your face. I can't tap my face and like I feel like you have to be the Halloween version of yourself to like stand out, if that no. makes sense. I get yeah, 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 yeah. more than you are just like Playing. Right, like, like yeah, Post Malone. You look that. at these guys; they have I something. Up, and I feel like me, I'm not gonna alter my body to stand out. I'd rather stand out in another way, like be the guy who just whips out Spanish and starts speaking Spanish, or can dance bachata or shit. Be like the guy that. that doesn't try so hard and stick with what you got. Cause that's I what think I do. You're fine. Yeah. I don't think you that's need a How old are your chops? How do I look? Like 30? you look like Eminem. And Thank I you. Know if you I had a dime for every time someone said that, I'd be which to me, you're hot, bro. What do you need? Yo, but I feel like I need. <laughs> you do I mean yeah like you want to go right. out when I you? look fly I no you. you have to answer me first how do I look I said 30 no on the dot like 30 yeah I think 33 I'm 32 ah I was gonna say yeah. 32 shit I'm when's little, your birthday thank you for the compliment by the way I'm October 29th hmm? I'm a Scorpio yeah you are that's my usually, opposite sign I'm a Gemini you, usually white people age like platanos like bananas and shit but I'm out here aging like wine yeah no you, know? you do look young but because you. he asked you 30 flat i'm like he's definitely 32 or 33 did you know i say 35 I mean? like that i didn't say that no 30 flat you're like 30 oh, that's oh, it oh. yeah so it's like a dead giveaway why wow, you into are you into astrology i feel like you would be no way oh i'm like are do you, we vibe you, you were like yo you're my opposite sign <laughs> well i literally just read that like yesterday so that's why i said what it. is your sign taurus oh i, I did that means that in the zodiac like me and you are we're balanced like you're on the opposing side of my sign. Are we balanced? Uh, what's yours again? Cat? Gemini. I'm Gemini. What, uh, when's your birthday? Again? Joey's a Something Joey's a Taurus. So you're like me, like you 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 started you were doing American shit, and then you got exposed to the Latin market, and yes. you're like, I'm not going back to these gringos. Um, I love my gringos, but I feel like I'm a little extra, and I think that Latin people, the culture is a little extra, so mm -hmm. I think. You fit. I'm in a place where I belong, you know, and That's dope. until that wears off, which I hope it doesn't, mm -hmm. where I see myself is honestly being a fixture in this, in this industry. That's what's up. So you're going to stick to just doing private things for like Latin artists for music videos and stuff. Yeah. Like and that, you know, there's always collaborations that you can do and, you know, you do runs of like would, five pieces. Would you do a collab with like a big brand, like a brig? I would do a collab with a big artist. Okay, but not like a brand. Not if like... Mm. Yeah, I mean... Listen, I don't say no to Chanel. You know? Yeah, but like also like the one. Shit. Yeah, but what would make sense for me is to more do it with like their label and so their fans can mm. be like them. Gotcha. So I wouldn't like take that away from the artist and run with another label to yeah. do that. You know? I, if someone wanted to buy, like the average person listening right now, if they wanted to buy jewelry from you, is that possible? Hit me up on my DM because currently I'm trying to figure out the correct website to build. Mm -hmm. Again, a lot is one off. So if they tell me I love this necklace that blah, blah, blah was wearing, I'll respond. I can make you something very similar. However, I don't duplicate any of the pieces. Right. You know what I mean? Materials are different. Give them a quote and I do that all day. That's fire. Yeah. And well, who, what would you charge for something like that? Anywhere from like. If I if, if someone hit you up and says, I want something similar to a Bad Bunny hat on a bracelet. I need a uh, bracelet 198, but the bracelet's gotcha. going to last you two years. You gotcha. know what I mean? Yeah. Like you get what you pay for. I'm not going to inflate anything at this point because people can figure it out. Yeah. There's the internet. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, you get what you pay for and I'm honest and I... I don't overexpose anything. I think that's when the respect is lost. Like, why was Supreme so successful? Why is Chanel so successful? Because they do limited runs of things, and then keep it there's exclusive. Classics. I'm keep figuring the out. Up. I'm figuring out the classics, and that will be my website. That's what I'll say. That's what I'm gotcha. trying to do right now. Gotcha. Larry. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. So you work with Bad Bunny, work with Raul. Damn, you said I just Mariah, uh, um, Lunai, more the entity of them of Jordan and Jonah, who are very powerful in this industry, in my opinion. I love 
um, Nazi. Uh, I mean, and then you pick up artists. I've worked with a lot of them. I'll say those are the yeah. ones I want to name. Has anyone been like a dick to you? I would never answer that question. No, you can hit me with the past. That's cool. I, can- I'll say this. If I've worked with you twice, no. So, no. Okay. I mean, I, I see people for who they are. And there's mm-hmm. w- there's some that I love, and there's some that, like, aren't my favorite, but that's life in general. Yeah, it's business. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, I pre- Tyron, I appreciate you coming through. Thank you so much for having me. Stacy, thank you for pulling up. You already? Boom. Woo!